the mayor is also looking into moving City Hall into the community center. Um, and we've all sat through some of those hot meetings at the uh, old City Hall where there's not much in the way of ventilation. Mm -hmm. uh, how do you feel about that plan? And we'll start, I think we're starting with Tony. Thank you, Grant. Uh, at this point in time, uh, we all know that the Direct Center had some problems, and uh, I was one of the first people that I've known an individual in another city that had the opportunity to help his Rec Center at the same budget uh, situation we were in, at $1.2 million that was being you know, spent by city coffers for the amount of people they had in their city versus the membership. And at that time, I've gotten some assistance from that person and the mayor and the rec director went there to visit. And they brought some good ideas back and they enjoyed what we heard back there. And we did keep the rec center open. It's alive and well, membership is growing. We did lease out some things on the bottom floor where the floors weren't being used on the bottom flo uh, floor of the rec center much. One, one uh, group of people was not even paying uh, anything as far as rent ever, and we got them to pay finally. And uh, another group for uh, handicapped uh, citizens are down there paying uh, 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 you know, a rent for us now. That's helping a lot. Uh, as far as the uh, thing going with what we're doing there, uh, I think that as far as moving the rest of City Hall in there, it's really it's going to be a tough configuration. We really, that would be something to have to be taken a look at. If, we could, if we're going to raise those two buildings, save on that money, possibly put them in there with a build out, we'd have to actually see the dollars. There's nothing in stone, nothing's been you know, really put down for us to take a look at. So very hard to comment on that. I, I don't think it'd work at this point in time, but uh, I'm willing to look at anything so we can go ahead and save money. Jim? I think putting City Hall into the rec center is, is um, I haven't been convinced that it's a good idea. Uh, the reductions that have been put into the rec center, I think, are bad for the community. The recreation center is a central point. It's actually called the John A. Polony Community Center because it's actually supposed to be the center of the community where activities happen. Um, I grew up in Brook Park. I spent a lot of time myself at the rec center. Um, you make some lifelong friends with some of the things that you do there. It's a, it provides a lot of social activities and a so social interaction with the community. Um, by closing the basement and saying that it wasn't being used. There was a game room down there. There was a room that, that some of the groups used for their parties, and there were activities down there that we can no longer do. Uh, they closed the pool, which is something that you can't get if you go to some of these private companies. Uh, they have fitness places, but they don't have a pool. Um, so closing the rec center and trying to squeeze in City Hall, I think, is a bad idea. I think you, you've got some good buildings over there that uh, maybe there's some funding available for, but I've, I've seen, no, like Tony, I've seen no plans for this. Everything's just talked about on a grand idea. Um, I, don't, I don't think it's good. I think we need to get the rec center back to the way it was before, um, managing the money close and just providing those services to the community. Thanks, Grant. Tony, any reply or follow-up? Uh, just in 1971, when we were in junior high, we got the ability to go to the great rec center. Uh, we were in, enjoying those as, as, as children. We went down and shot pool and did th different things in the uh, recreation rooms, like Mr. Asherino said. There were, unfortunately, the uh, outdated equipment and the renovation of those types of things for what the children are interested in today. I don't know whether we can bring them back to those rooms unless we updated them, of course. But uh, as they were today, they were stagnated and not making any money. There were meeting rooms down there, but we have a great community room upstairs and the ability to go ahead and still house people who want to come there as residents and still do enjoy the weight rooms and do other things that are there. Yes, the pool's closed. That was a mayor's decision. We are trying to get him to reopen it. You know, again, uh, we don't agree on everything that he does, and he doesn't agree with everything we ask him to do. So the problem here is getting that open, and uh, I'm in favor of getting the pool uh, reopened. Uh, again, real qu uh, quick uh, in closing, I, I did go ahead and try to get some different ideas to get that rec center sustainable and continue to be open and full operation for the residents. Okay, Jim. When he talks about outdated equipment, it's because of the city not managing the, the facility properly. If it's outdated equipment, it should have been updated during the process. As time goes on, you have to adapt and the city has to adjust to that. If they were finding that the children weren't playing with the equipment that was downstairs, they needed to ask the question, what equipment are, would they play with? What do we need to bring into this? And it, it, it was my impression and my understanding that a lot of people at the rec center, the admi you know, administrative part of it, maybe sat on their hands and just sat back and didn't take care of things. We can't afford to do that anymore. We need to be a little bit more proactive, a little bit more innovative. And they're not doing that, 
I think if you started doing that, people would come back to the community because it does provide a valuable service to the community. Thanks, Grant. If uh, the city hall doesn't move into the community center, um, then what would the alternative be? Is it, would you put more money into the current buildings or find another location or what? And Jim, let's start with you. Without knowing from an engineer what's going on with those buildings that exist there, I, that would be the first place I look. You know, those buildings ha have always been solid in construction. You know, I worked in the city for 32 years. They didn't build things back then real fancy. They built them out of block walls. They built it kind of like an institution. It wasn't necessarily designed uh, for comfort. It was, it was, it was for function. Uh, so whether or not we could put some money in, and there's a lot of land that's available there. If you go to City Hall, you'll see the, the area between City Hall and Ingle Road. There's a lot of grass up front. Maybe they put, put a nice addition on there that, that, would, do, that would meet the needs. Um, I, think, I think those things need to be looked at because it, you're talking about investing money in the rec center to do that, which is going to dwindle down the rec center. You're just shrinking and shrinking and shrinking the, the, the facilities that, that are being used by the city. And that's not what the, that's not what the people want. It's, you, you need to provide services to the community to make it an attractive community. Thank you. Okay, Tony. As far as the buildings go that are there today, they are outdated. Something should have been done long ago, not just the last 21 months. It's been outdated. There are 1970 buildings and even some in the 60s, of course and they need renovation drastically. We've got a problem with the air conditioning unit. As you know, Grant, we've been in the city hall uh, council chambers and it's been very, very hot during the summer months. There is an energy efficiency legislation that has been out and the study's been done. We have not got back the results. And uh, as uh, my opponent spoke about an engineer's study, that's what we're doing now with energy efficiency. We really need to see where we're at throughout the city, campus buildings, once the study comes back, and then we could actually take a look at where we're at at that point and what's nece necessary and move forward. If there's a possibility for a build out, I think everything needs to be looked at. Uh, we don't want to just go ahead and haste, knock buildings down, move out of them, or consolidate before we get the full picture like we're doing at this point. Okay, and I know we've been on the subject of the community center a while now in City Hall, but um, Jim, if you're entitled to 60 more seconds on the subject if you want them. Um, all I'd have to say is, you know, to say that buildings that were built in 1970 are outdated, um, we have buildings in government that are from the 1870s. It's just something, if, if it's been neglected for a long period of time, that's the fault of the city administration, that's the fault of the city officials. To sit there and tell the people that they need to come up with more money to correct those mistakes, you know, you, you, they, you need to do the studies, you need to do the planning, and you need to accept the responsibility and not just say, give me more money so I can fix all these things. And so to say 1970, are, they're outdated. Um, th I, I would say 1970s, they have character. They're not outdated. They have a certain character to them. It, it, it's, it's what builds the community. Thank you. OK, Tony. Well, if you look at the reality of things, I can understand where my opponent's going with old buildings. We do know in the archives of you know, early government, there are some great ornate buildings. But, uh, and the sensibility of things and the practicality is generally what I'm speaking of, not the realism of the building themselves. We have buildings that are not energy efficient. What it would take to upgrade those, we're not sure. Until we get a study, I'm not going to go out and put a dollar on it. And uh, at this point in time, again, I want to stress, uh, you keep on saying it's the administration's fault. Uh, not a lot can be done in 20 months, and my opponent understands that it's been a long time of administration that where we're gotten today is why we're, where, we're, where we're at, not just 21 months. 